Oh, sorry about that. You played it safe. It's just real safe. Farewell. Hi, do you hope everyone? My name's Mr. Fruit, and welcome back to Destiny 2. And in today's video, our first installment in Drip or Drop, a brand new Guardian Transmug Fashion Off. Today, we'll be selecting from a few Titans to see who is the most dripped. If you guys do enjoy this, let me know down in the comment section below and feel free to like or subscribe. It's always appreciated. Get the drip in here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go, let's go. I need the pretty Titans. I need to be blown away. All right, what is this? We got 12? That might be 12. These better all be Titans. All right, hiding text chat so they cannot influence the judges. We must stay partial. The judges being myself and chat. The way it works, drip or drop. We're going through. The first basis is we're just going to rate drip or drop. If you're dripped, you get to stay. If you're dropped, you're out. It's an elimination bracket. We got 11 Titans here. Dropped, you're out. Drip, you stay. Once we narrow it down and go through everybody, then we choose the drippiest of the dripped. And then we, we declare the first drip or drop winner. Obviously, it's going to be very subjective, at least for me. I will try and make it so that I will decide if it's drip or drop, but I'll do a poll in chat and whatever they choose will stay. We're going to start off with Arshan. Oh, we got an MMXX Iyer here. Ballsy, you know, it's hard to pull off the vault to glass butt towel. I am a big fan of whatever the fudge this thing is. Playing it pretty safe with a black camo. Black is very, very popular, frankly. Mainly because it's hard to mess up black if you make everything black. So we'd like to see a little more creativity on the shader. Yeah. And I'm not going to make someone drop if they use all the same shader. But it's always cool to see people find a few different ones and match them together. Uh, I'm getting... It's just... It's a very eclectic drip. You know, uh, the, t the helmet's telling me one thing, but then you're... And then the butt towel. See, I think the butt towel is not helping. Because to be fair, I haven't really seen a set yet that properly uses the butt towel. It's like one of those things. It's like it's it's very high risk, high reward. Because if you were able to like seamlessly make it, boom, I'd be like, dang. But I'm going to I'm going to start the poll. And after the poll is done, I will give my rating. And then we reveal chats. The poll comes in 77% of the audience votes drop. Boom. You've been dropped, my friend. My vote, though, however, is also drop. Oh, sorry about that. You played it safe. It's just real safe. The camo doesn't earn you any bonus points. Black doesn't hurt, but it's... It, it looks like you are you just dress yourself for the first time. You know what I'm saying? You just threw on some cool things. You know, hey, you always have a chance in the future, but you've been... Drop. On to the next. Batman. Chunky boy. We have the bungee chest piece, which I'll say is ballsy because subjectively for me, pretty much all the armor from this was a bit of a yikes for me, especially because it looks like you're ready to get on a bike. You know, you got the leather. I'll get past the chest piece. So it's just, I'm not big on the chest, but let's see if you can make it work, right? We see another black shader to be fair. Uh, but this time we got some blue accents. What is this? We got first frost, of course, who could forget? I do like, I do like the little towel, little butt towel. They are in the same pair, so it it's it makes sense why we would match with each other. Um, all I gotta say, what are those? Titan Titan legs can definitely be a little hit or miss, especially with the helmet. I feel like you got a certain vibe, and it does it does go with each other. I I do feel like this one's a little more cohesive as a set, but this goes down to the never forgiving folks at home. Do they think drip or do they think drop? The results are in and 63% have decided to drop Batman. We've got a ruthless chat out here. These viewers are not easy to please. My rating would have been a very soft drip. Good luck, Carter. They're ruthless at home. Okay. And the stark contrast from what we've seen before, we've we've decided we've gone on the exact opposite. I'm blinded by the line we've got the white we've got the bright magenta melibu bronze oh, oui, oui. now hot take i know a lot of people hate the uh little fur things they did with uh, the titan armor in this one i'm not horribly against it i will say it gives me some real mixed vibes with with what we got right here though but ironically it almost fits because it feels like it's like a gross mullet and it feels like we're rocking like the 80s or something, you know? So in, in a weird kind of way, I think it almost works. 
at this point, I have to ask ourselves, will anyone drip in the eyes of Chad? It's a mohawk to a mullet, everyone's favorite. But God, I gotta be honest, that's a disgusting chess piece. Chat has 71% agreed to drop these mans. I'm sorry, Carter, you've been dropped. Next up, this is brutal. I feel terrible. Iso Terrestrial, what do we got? Okay, looking like we're uh, like a Megazord. I'm getting some Bionicle kind of, what vibes am I getting here? Very red though. Red Power Ranger, for sure. It's always a bold helmet choice. I like it. And what's interesting is this Titan is bulky and yet slender. Does that make any sense? Anyone else feeling like doing what I'm picking up, what I'm putting down? He's wide, but not wide. He's lanky, you know? But I love this. Getting a little creative with, with the shaders. He's got his little uh, leather butt towel, of course, with his little his man satchel. The back of that chest piece is pretty cool. Is he Iron Man? What is he stored in there? I'm trying to avoid any opinionated things here before chat is able to vote. I'm trying to be objective and break down what we're looking at here. What the fudge is this? Wait, I've never seen that. What's this? Little turtles? At kill count? Or is that how many turtle friends he's made along the way? Yo. Know, kind of dig this uh, alternating color here though, you know? 69% nice. Is unanimous. We got, we got our first drip. You dripped. Chat has said you drip. You did it. You're the first. I gotta say, I agree. Drip. So Iso with the drip. Next up, we've got Guardian. Okay. We're rocking the uh, the one-eyed mask ornament, which I feel isn't too popular in a, in a drip loadout. So cool to see. We've got the, what is it? The Shadow Keep boots, pretty sure. And you don't see this a lot with Titans because frankly, uh, there's not many narrow shoulders, not super broad, because there really aren't many Titan shoulders that aren't just blocks. Running with the Reese Walker 2, which kind of fits the aesthetic they're going for here. We've got the Omnicrania with a little bit of a different shader here. And frankly, I think that works really well. For half a second, I also thought it was a Hunter. Just so slender. I think it's part of the boots. And even at first glance, it almost looked like a little cape. But that's not a bad thing. Chat with a 50%, 50-50 by one vote. By one. Chat has decided drip. Every vote counts. Guardian, you have survived. And frankly, I kind of mirror chat. I'm like 50-50. I don't know where I sit with it. Uh, nah, <laughs> Mr. Fr no. Uh, next up, we... Oh, uh, there's two Guardians. Now we have Guardian 4484. What do we got? The one... The, the Mask of the Quiet one. You love to see this. We got a nice soft palette. Almost pastel. Purple. Some white. Some gray. Easy on the eyes. A, a tiny little spare off from that tiny little man. The helmet has always given me Donnie Darko vibes, that's for sure. We see another crucible fur chest, which is probably 100% more crucible fur chest than I've seen in the past very long time, frankly. We've seen a couple people go for this. It's very distinctive with its, its patterns. They opted for the 30th anniversary butt towel. They've got their 5G transmitter. 70% that it's a... Draw. Uh, I'm inclined to agree. Oh, I see you just changed the trade of your ghost. Thank you, Guardian4484. Uh, for feeding the Rancor. <laughs> All right. Next up, Potion Seller Kanye. All right. Off the bat. Oh, it's looking... Okay, so we're going for a bit of a rougher, scrappier kind of look. What even kind of helps tie it in is the Sparrow in the back. Looking kind of like a Wastelander kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? A little junkyardy. We got the... The ancient defender believer and a little iron moss bone throw in there. Tattered cloth. The asymmetrical gauntlets. A rarity. And again, uh, those exact same one. The Meridian Constellation Greaves. They're hot right now. They're going off. The, they're flying off the shelves, apparently. Come and get them. 74% with the drip. Certified drip, my friend. In fact, I think that must that might be the so far most unanimous drip decision. I am inclined to agree. I'll give a drip. The only things throwing me off are, it must be the certain chest piece. It's just so tiny. And then you go so wide down here. Besides that, the, like the gauntlet helmet, I'm liking it. Like this gives me more scavenger vibes. I don't know, something you'd kind of see. Like who knows? But ironically, I think the chest piece works best in the back because I like this little, little thing. On the subtle, 
we went from kind of slim to absolute chunky boy. Who, wait a second, does he have the exact same? He does, using the same chest piece. So yeah, I guess that's obvious the difference between the female and the, the male Titan variant. You got the whole back. A very, from what I can tell, very popular ornament to be used for the Titan helmet. Rocking the Syntheseps, which aren't exactly the easiest to make a fit with. We've got the front facing butt towel, a little more modest, with just the, look at these calves. Look at the calves on these mod. Chat with a 56% vote has decided drip. You survive, friend. I gotta say, kind of like the vote, pretty close for me. I'm gonna edge toward drip. I think the biggest thing holding you back are the syntheseps. So you dripped. Next up, we got uh, Tactical Wizard. Doesn't sound like a crayon eater to me. We've got Wide Boy, Wide Shiny Boy. And it's so shiny. He's rocking the Lion Ramparts, rocking the default Lion Ramparts, which have always looked funny in the best way possible to me. Was that uh, that dude from My Hero, you know what I'm saying? Big shoulder, very Titan. Now it's up to people if they think, you know, matching these right next to each other is cheating a little bit. But I don't I don't think that's necessarily a problem. It helps tie it in. Frankly, I like the color choice, especially because it blends in so well with the uh, the gold accents. 72% unanimously decides to drop Tactical Wizard. No drip here. I am inclined to agree. Terra King Brad with a much different vibe looking Titan. Again, is this Meridian Constellation Greaves, bruh? Everybody loves these pants, man. I gotta say though, the, the immediate glow effect from this, this mark's really cool. The green. In fact, it's... I'm getting like Scion vibes from this. Almost like it's a Scion. Oh my, I didn't even realize. Okay, I have to give immediate bonus points? It, I did, not until now did I realize those are Syntheseps. That's how f seamless they went together. Cause usually the Syntheseps are something I immediately see and they take away. But this one, I, it took me a second. It took me a second. But the atmospheric glow, I'm gonna be honest, I don't, I don't know if I have that one. I haven't seen it. Pretty cool shader though. And that Gambit Jade Stone, just making that thing pop. 92% voted to drop. I am shot. No, I'm just kidding. 92% voted to drip. It's the drip. Easily the most unanimous we've had so far. And I have to say, so far, probably my favorite as well from what we've seen. Can't knock him for using these boots because if we, we'd seen him first, I wouldn't have been so used to him. But man, people love these Meridian Constellation Greaves, man. But I am all about it. I, I, I'll tell you. And last but not least, the right guy. With another helm, big old chunky boots. We've got the crystal chest. Oh, we've got the uh, Forerunner, whatever, freaking marathon uh, flashlight again. The Ascendant, this is probably one of my favorite marks. So, love to see it. What are we working with here? The Dawning Tranquility, very chunky titan. You guys know how I feel about the crucible chest, but I'm willing to let it let it go right now. These are, you know, Titans are usually, these are just like extra bulky legs. Never even seen these, or at least paid attention. Very big presence. You know, you're not gonna miss them in the room. 84% to drop the right guy. The drip check has failed. You have critically failed your drip check. You've been dropped. I agree. First off, I was seeing some people you know, debate this. Like, I don't get why using one shader is a bad thing. And it's not always a bad thing. Like that last Titan we saw with that green one. I think that worked totally fine. It's a matter of trying to find out, okay, well, if you mix and matched, what else could you have gotten? Could you have pushed it a little further? Some people think it's a little lazy. I think if done right, it doesn't have to be different shaders. Um, in this case, I would have liked to see maybe something else because it's very samesy for the most part. Uh, but the, the main drop for me though, none of that's really that important to me. The main drop is it just doesn't really feel like it flows together. I'm getting a lot of different vibes from everything. So it's a drop for me in the chat, the right guy, Farewell, which means we have dropped six, dripped five. Now it's now winner's finals. We got to choose one from these folks. So let's get a little refresher. Esso Terrestrial, our little robot bionicle that could. Guardian, I forget what, what theme I put to this one. Not quite Wastelander. Potion Seller Kanye with the Wastelander fit. Subtle, the Minotaur, hoofed Torin Beast Titan. And Terra King Brad at number five with the green scion. He proved to be the most unanimous drip choice 
but now against the competitors and given a second look. Will the vote go otherwise? We'll find out. And 60% with the victory goes to King Brad Sion. Now fourth and fifth at fifth place was Guardian with his Egyptian Xerxes look. Fourth place was Subtle with his Minotaur. Now it's important to note though, at third, at least in this vote, came in Iso with his robot, but only by three more votes. So it was close for that cutoff, but now we will do a second and third poll between Kanye's Wastelander fit and Iso's robotic fit. But congratulations to our first dripper drop winner, Terra King Brad. And I'm inclined to agree. Almost. I'm not, it's pretty close. Once you guys finish the next vote, I'll let you know. But here is the last poll. And in second place, congratulations to Potion Seller Kanye with his Wastelander fit, which ultimately gives Iso Terrestrial third place with his robot fit. Congratulations to our winners. Uh, Potion Seller Kanye. Here's the thing. The first and second for me, drip wise, is pretty close. I, it's almost practically a tie for me bet between Brad and Kanye. They both just accomplish different things so well. But I think personally, from a personal choice, I think I just like the Wastelander, Wastelander fit a little bit more. And the more I see it, the more I like it, frankly. We've crowned our first dripper drop champion. This one, the Titan dripper drop. So we'll be doing Warlock and Hunter another time. We have to in our anticipated sequel. I'll also try and see if I can find like uh, emote or emblem codes or something. Try and give out to our winners or something. So potions like Kanye, I'm gonna send a bungee frame request to you. So if I can figure something out, I'll send something to you. 